Hey, what's up everybody? This is Osterberg501 and today I want to go over how you're able to make a ridiculous amount of gold on a weekly basis. So the content we're going to be focusing on for this way of making gold is the Abyssal Dungeons. And I'm going to have to explain how these work to explain how you can make gold from these. And it's overly complicated for no reason on the UI. So hopefully you can follow me on how you go about farming these for gold. Now Abyssal Dungeons are an end game dungeon system that are much more similar to World of Warcraft dungeons or Elder Scrolls Online dungeons where you face some groups of normal enemies then you go to a boss then you pretty much do the same thing to the next boss there can be two or three boss fights in every single one of these dungeons they give a ton of different loot and they all give gold and that's the main thing I'm trying to go over in this video is how you can farm these for gold so how the system works is you can do every dungeon which are these boxes all of the boxes are different dungeons you can do every single one of these one time per character. So if I say do Demon Beast Canyon on one character, I can't do that specific dungeon another time in that week on that character. So if I do Demon Beast Canyon on one character, get on my alt, I can do Demon Beast Canyon again on that alt and get the rewards. And that goes for all of the dungeons, which are all of the different boxes. And you unlock the new sections by doing main quests on a new continent. So these first two sets of dungeons are different continents but they're both tier one and they require higher eye level once you get to the third one this is tier two and all of these are separate dungeons so again once you have these unlocked you can do every single one of the specific dungeons one time per character and you can get gold every time you do these per week so if i go on my character do both of these first dungeons the demon beast canyon and the necromancer's origin i will get a bunch of loot that it shows here and i will also get the gold now, there is some stipulations with earning the gold and other sellable things such as the engraving recipes. So there is a limit on these dungeons, and this is the weekly gold limit. Now, if you just read this box right here, it's incredibly confusing for no reason. So essentially how this works is when you do any dungeon on one character, it will put them on this weekly gold limit. You can see the characters that have done it at the bottom. So essentially when you do that dungeon, it locks that character in as being one of the characters that can earn gold from abyssal dungeons this week so if you have six characters and you go do one dungeon on all six of those characters all of those characters will be locked in to be able to earn gold from abyssal dungeons that week if you have a seventh character and you go try to do abyssal dungeons you can't earn gold on that seventh character but you are still able to earn gold on all of the dungeons so i can go do demon beast canyon and necromancer's origin on six different characters and earn gold from both of these dungeons on all six of those characters. And the gold amount from these first two dungeons are 80 gold per. So I can go on one character, complete both of these dungeons, and get 80 gold per. Go on another character, get 80 gold per both these dungeons. And I can do that with up to six characters that are locked in for being able to obtain gold in that week. But there is one additional stipulation. If your character is too high eye level, it makes the gold and engraving books unobtainable. So I'm on a character in tier two with over a thousand item level. These tier one dungeons, the 340 eye level ones and the 460, I cannot get gold in any of these. I'm too high eye level. But if I go to tier two dungeons, I could do all of the tier two dungeons and earn gold in those dungeons. And that second limiting factor is so you can't go on a really high geared character and just go to these low tier dungeons, just power through them and get gold. But also the weeks you're gearing up in and moving to a new tier, you're able to get the gold from both tiers. So say if I start this week, I'm in tier one. I do all four of my tier one dungeons on a character that is set as one of my six characters that week that can earn gold. I can do all four of these dungeons, get gold from all of them then if i gear up my character enough to get in the tier two i can still go in that same week and earn gold from all of the tier two dungeons but in the next week i won't be able to go back to the tier one dungeons and earn gold again it will be unobtainable and this system is overly confusing for no reason but a good hypothetical to understand this a little bit more easily is let's say i have seven level 50 characters and they all have 340 eye level so i'm 
I'm able to do these first dungeons. So let's say I take six of these characters and do Demon Beast Canyon. All six of those characters will earn 80 gold for completing this dungeon. And that will also lock in all six of those characters as my only six characters that can earn gold from doing any Abyssal Dungeons that week. So none of those six characters will be able to do Demon Beast Canyon again that week, but all of those six characters can still go do other dungeons and earn gold that week as well. So if all six of those characters go do Necromancer's Origin, all six of those characters will also earn 80 gold from Necromancer's Origin. Now let's say I try to do these on a seventh character. That seventh character won't be able to earn gold from doing any Abyssal Dungeons that week. You will already have six characters locked in for that week, but that seventh character can still do the dungeons. They just won't be able to earn gold or the engraving books. So having up to six max level characters can maximize the gold you can earn out of Abyssal Dungeons, and you can earn a ton of gold. And going to the higher dungeons and higher tiers, you will start to earn more gold at the end. So it's not always going to stay 80. It's going to be more and more the more tiers you get through and the harder dungeons you start to do. And on a side note, I did make a video going over how you can actually really easily get six level 50 characters. So I'd recommend going and watching that video, especially if you want to make gold doing this, because you can do all of these dungeons on those six characters and earn gold on all of them. And that's pretty much the entirety of how you can earn gold through Abyssal Dungeons on a weekly basis. And this is a lot of just guaranteed gold. If you complete that Abyssal Dungeon, you get the gold. For time invested, it's not going to be the absolute best gold possible in the game, but it's very consistent and you'll also be getting a ton of other resources while doing these dungeons. And even with saying that, the gold still isn't bad for time invested. So I hope I explained that well enough for you guys to understand about this system and how you're able to farm gold through this system. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I'll try to reply to everybody because I understand this system is way overcomplicated for no reason. It took me a while to fully understand and fully grasp everything, but if you don't understand anything, leave it in the comments. I'll reply to all of them I can, so hopefully everybody can fundamentally understand this system. But that's pretty much all I want to go over, so subscribe if you want to see more Lost Ark or other MMO videos. Leave a like if you liked the video. Leave a comment down below what you guys think about this gold making method, and thanks for watching.